When it comes to fly fishing, dry fly fishing could be considered the heart and soul of the sport. The stereotypical image of a fly fisherman is the angler throwing long, elegant casts to rising trout. It's these rising trout, or rather, what they're feeding on that's going to be the focus of this new video series. We intend to do a deep dive on the entomology of the various insects that lie at the roots of the sport of fly fishing and evaluate the relationship that the emergence of these insects has on the trout population. Each video will focus on a particular insect, anything ranging from various mayflies such as the Hendrickson and Green Drake, all the way to various caddisflies and stonefly species. We'll be looking at the entire bug life cycle, not just what's on the surface. So naturally, we'll go into dry flight tactics, but also take a look at imitating the nymphs and the emergers as well. We'll evaluate how the natural behavior of the insect can help us to strategize our approach. Should we nymph? Should we swing wets? Should we blindly throw dry flies? These are all questions that we hope to answer. Every insect is different and behaves differently depending on which part of their life cycle they're in. Each video will look at these life cycle stages such as the nymph, the emerger, the dun, and the spinner and discuss the importance of each hatch by stage. And looking at each insect, we'll focus on the time of the year that they're most active. For the majority, this will be in the spring. For others, the fall or summer, and even some of the winter months. Aquatic insects are fascinating. So if this is something that interests you, follow along through this video series as we explore the various hatches in our own backyard and beyond. Oftentimes we try to rationalize why certain patterns work, especially when it comes to matching a hatch. But at the end of the day, all we're trying to do is catch some fish. In my opinion though, just understanding the natural process and dynamics of a hatch adds to the enjoyment of fly fishing. And maybe, just maybe, might help you to fold that mature trout. Tight lines everyone.